Here we are. My sister should be just inside. I'll send you my thingy if you want to watch. Let's see what happens. Aha! Sebastian, where did you. Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> Tell what you've done. Thank you, you've done this bit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Huh? Poor Sebastian. I'll take you if you've Not done this bit. Where? Where? That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne. And the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you'll remember what I've said. Good day. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <sighs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. I adore teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being at Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle well, and my uncle that. fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being so at all, but up. refusing to go after Van Rapp's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. What happened there? 
That was weird. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. The search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. Oh no. I wish you well. I ought to see how fast the answer is. Well, I think it has Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You have a first hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow. Always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Uh, Where's going on with Discord? The kids crying out. Damn. Uh, Discord kids crying out. Yeah. longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Maybe. Was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you.
Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. Very well. This is where it huh? happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. <laughs> it seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at Billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since What's I lived here. Yeah. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Sent and for you. But that's all I ever heard. He's slacking though. Uh, Dan's a lot further than I am. He's on second trial. No, I've done a second trial. You've done it. I've oh, heard I've been goblin been dig sites like these oh, are popping up everywhere. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's a wonder the ministry isn't doing more. Yeah, um... A lot of, there's loads in Hogsmeade. There's about 10 or 11 in there. Rebellion. Yeah, most of them. Loads of them. Once you get level 2, go to Hogsmeade. And uh, you can pick level 2 locks and they're all in there. Now there's about 8 or 9 in there. I have to, you have to keep selling stuff because as well. I've got, I've got, I've done all the, I've done all the trials now. Well, you've done all the Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. I don't know why it keeps cutting down. Yeah, mum is cutting me off. <sighs> I've got a quick level to the doctor, right? Uh. Yeah. Sebastian, over here. Uh, Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night mm. that Annie was cursed? Could <laughs> be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. And I find it awkward sometimes, like... You, uh... Rebellion! You better do so, and then you end up like, eat, pick up something to eat. Oh, like, yeah, picking up yeah, apples or something. Or you interact with things you don't want to interact with. This well yeah. looks familiar. Yeah. Let me, I didn't realise that you actually find a butterfly. Sebastian, I've seen this before. Oh, did you not realise? This house, uh, the well, yeah. the view. <laughs> what do you mean? When? Well, Give me a moment. It, I'll, I'll explain in a second. Girl, yeah, the girl. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'll be like, oh, fuck you, is, huh? And I haven't even... Sebastian. Yeah, this the mirrors like indicate the clue professor. of where the butterfly of years ago. Is. Who? What do you? I found a pensive that yeah, being in the restricted right. section nice. with a memory that showed this house. So, yeah. There was a little girl Sometimes and a drag. Do a side quest now, the keepers yeah. have shown yeah, yeah. other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts There's professor. Like... Her name was Isadora Morgan. Like, she was one of the keepers. The keepers, like in Quidditch. And you found a pensive in the library. I'm, quicker, man. I'm not long. following you. I realize yeah, it's a no. lot to take in. We should just let us spell and it does it. Don't have to do anything. No. Not like Quidditch. They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some yeah, type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Randolph no, and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. 
you can see traces of an ancient well, magic that you think Ranrock was trying to harness. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both What's have good that? reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking Man. something? Only one way to find out. I've been, yeah, I need, I've only got one left for it that I can't do at the moment. Huh, a stairwell. My mum's cut me off again. Yeah. Love you, well. She keeps cutting me off, Dan. I don't know, unless it's the internet dropping out. It shouldn't be. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer yeah. look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. Tells me they're after something bigger. Oh, I'm getting here. Oops, I got caught by Mr. Lawley. I'm assuming you've done that one. Oh. Which Seems one? these journal entries are from the Doris Travers. Sneaks into the building. Alright. Rebellion. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Rebellion. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange, but... Honestly. Nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Fair enough. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I think it's to do with my ability to see traces of ancient magic. But you said you didn't really understand it and that you couldn't wield it. That's true. And I'm still not sure what it all means. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft, from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. 
Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here, in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I had no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. Rebellion. Meet me near the ruins of Falbarton Castle. After dark, do not tell anyone. Rebellion. Alohomora. Lumos. This looks like the portrait from the map. 
And where's the treasure? Alohomora. Lumos.
Rebellion. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Alohomora. Care enough to remove my demigod. Hello, Hamora.
Rebellion. Pardon me, sir, but about those curious demigod statues I've seen. What? Who are you? Why do you ask? They're quite clever. Oh, thank you. A lot of craftsmanship and care went into them. I, I assume. So you did create them? I... Uh, yes, I did. It was a ploy to give that pathetic oaf Moon a taste of the grief he caused me years ago. You are the one who's been pilfering them. I am, at the request of Mr. Moon. I received your owl on your stationery. <clears throat> ah, well, fitting Moon would enlist a student too cowardly to do it himself. <laughs> Hasn't changed a bit. Even when we were at school, he was a cowardly bully. Gave me a horrible nickname, which I shan't repeat. I was thrilled when we left school and he seemed gone for good. Then I started seeing him around Hogsmeade. It was too much. Even if I do take satisfaction in that his life's destiny was to be a lowly caretaker. Mr. Moon does a good deal for the school, and he's taught me a lot. He's terrified of those statues. <laughs> I know. You should have seen his face when that boggart appeared. Oh, priceless. That's when I knew what I needed to do. I simply didn't want to encounter him anymore. So I shrewdly put a boggart in his path to learn his greatest fear. I then created the demiguy statues to keep him in his place, so to speak. The moons were inspired play on his name. It worked brilliantly. Until you started clearing them out. It sounds as if Mr. Moon deserved what he got. But perhaps it's time you both moved on. Ah, fair point, I suppose. If they've terrified him, as you say, he may have learned his lesson. can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Blue Panther. Mr. Moon, I've learned who's behind the demiguy statues. It was a classmate of yours that you bullied, Piers Pemberton. Oh, am I a known? Pigtails Piers! I don't think he likes being called that. Of course he does! Oh, we had such flowing locks! Oh, we used to laugh about them! <laughs> I laughed the hardest of all! Clever, clever man. Huh? I'd no idea he was so devious! <laughs> I must go and congratulate him. Whatever statues remain seem less terrifying now that I know they were put out by old pigtails. Continue collecting them if you like. As for me, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to my old friend.
will always look upon you as a friend. Why do we have to pay for astronomy? It's not even magic. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. 
Onwards we go, then. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs. Lumos. Ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. More cobwebs. Can I don't think any spiders might be lurking about. Oh no. Not this close to school, I meet. Look, there's the table. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Stargazing is all about patience and precision. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> This is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Ah, <sighs> never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. Nice to see you, my young friend.
Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Psst, over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Natty, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Harlow is here after all. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Hmm, I wonder what that does. Good finger. Let me also. Defender. Expelliarmus. Perhaps something with a bit more force. Arresto Momentum. Levioso. Descendo. Accio. Guardian Leviosa. Leviosa. <laughs> I 
I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. Caporso! Leviosa! We got him, Leviosa! That looks as if it might raise the gate. The pulse! Well done. I will be right up. I knew you could do it. This way. I will get the door. That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. Yeah, restrain the pain! Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Wang. Do you know that hippogriff? Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Blast it! There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. I hope Matty stays out of trouble. Safest place to sneak into. Wingardium Leviosa. You made us. Descend No. Yes, sir. Oh. 
Alohomora. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. You're going home in a wooden box! Levioso! Atego! Accio! Wing. It's all right. There we go. <gasps> there you are. Come on. A lot of more. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run.
It's incredible, isn't it? How exciting! <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Hiram before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that High Wing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. by Halo. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Halo down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. I assume you have news regarding the goblin you mentioned. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? Slow down now. There we go. I know what that means. Time for a jaunt, I'd say. Can bring us. 
Levioso, descendo. Levioso. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Levioso. Levioso. Descendo. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. This Merton Charles won't get the best of me. Wingardium Leviosa. This looks intriguing.
Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the Enchanted Loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend.
Dick thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Dick's no herbology professor, but some plants here seem to be ready to harvest. Thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed.
thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed.
What are you up to now? It's like a place right out of a storybook. I should investigate. This must be Tobbs's cave. I suppose I should head inside. Tobbs's master is awful. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Defender, Let me also. Confirm. Expel the office. as if Tops was here some time ago. He must have headed there into the game. Didn't sound particularly reassuring. Huh? <sighs> 
Gringo. Oh no, I have a feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Poor Tobbs, left here alone with the spiders. That table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. I'd like to... Of course! Yeah. Actually, but... I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful! Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh, my! Deke was afraid of this. Alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Uh, uh, Deacon Tobbs once shared the same master. When he died, uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts, too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. Deke will miss his friend dearly and will raise the glass to him with a heavy heart. <laughs> I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think, if that's all right. Off on another adventure, are we?
Nice to see you, my young friend. You would be wise not to underestimate this student. Their aptitude for magic is beyond anything I've ever seen, and I've been teaching a long time. It is a joy to have such a student. It can be. There you are. I've received your owl. I was able to speak with Lord Gok, the goblin I mentioned before. What did you learn? He and Ranrock were close once, but they had a falling out. You believe he can be trusted? He seemed trustworthy. Difficult to know, really. But Sorona Ryan trusts him. Well, that's something, I suppose. Supposing he can be trusted... I retrieved a stolen helm he hopes to return to Ranrock in order to regain his confidence. You have been busy. Let's hope your efforts result in our learning something about Ranrock's plans. Lord Gok did mention that Ranrock is searching for something, but he couldn't say what. Perhaps that helm will yield some... Ranrock is searching for something? I feared as much. I've heard an unusual amount of activity, goblins and wizards, I surmise, when visiting my portrait at my castle. Rookwood Castle? My former residence, yes. That castle is also the location of your next trial. I'm sorry to tell you that Victor Rookwood, evidently your descendant, is a dark wizard in league with Ranrock. My descendant? A dark wizard? I'm afraid we've no time to waste. Despite the obstacles that clearly await you, you must get to Rookwood Castle immediately. Not only is it the location of the next trial, it is home to a source of power that would be devastating in the wrong hands. I do wish we had the luxury of time. However, I do not doubt your abilities. Find my portrait there as soon as you can. Very well, sir. I'm on my way. Best of luck. No time to waste. I'll meet you at Rookwood Castle. I wonder who lives here. Huh. Oh, 
over here? Resistance and cleverness. I confronted Piers about it, and he confessed straight away, the old rascal. <laughs> We've agreed to let bygones be bygones. Uh, don't forget to say hello the next time you're in the Three Broomsticks. Thrilled to be back there again. What's going on here? Professor Rookwood was right. The place is crawling with Victor Rookwood's lot and Ranrock's loyalists. They're working together, all right, but it is not a friendly alliance. I'm sure you'll agree that we need to find a way in other than the front gate. Let's go. Absurd, isn't it? Ranrock wants us to find the child, but which child? Depends. Which Every child we find to Ranrock. Eventually we make it to my potato. Sounds like a lot of work. Perhaps we just tell it. Come on, too afraid to fight back. Why can't I hit you? If I'd known your plan was to dig up half the I country... I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach at that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, bring me the child. We already knew they were after you, but now we know they're digging for stores of magic. And Ranrock knows about the Keepers. Yes, I caught that too. Professor Rookwood said that you'd understand more once you complete the next trial. Let's get into that castle. Any special words you want me to pass on to your mum? What a look up. Uh, I'll make you wish you were back at school. I'm going to No! What are you fools on? Akio. You made a great mistake. Oh, a lamb to the slaughter. I know you're kind. You weaken quickly. 
I suppose that's the quick way down. Revelio. find all of them, then cast at them quickly in succession. Goblin tracks. They're a step ahead of us. Let's see where they lead. This must be it. The store of magic and the source of Ramrock's power. It looks empty. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? Ranrock said there's more to be found, and if he's right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Professor Rookwood, the goblins and dark wizards who've overrun your castle are digging for stores of magic and have broken open some sort of container. No. Things are more dire than I could have imagined. If, as you told Percival, a goblin in his vault was wielding a powerful magic, then they have somehow learned. It cannot be. And, sir, they know you were a keeper. Ranrock used the term. This makes no sense. How did... We shall discuss this later. Right now, you must complete the next trial. Just tell me where I need to go. The power you stand to wield must first be fully understood. The trials will ensure that. Power without knowledge is dangerous indeed. In the wrong hands, we will simply have to outwit Ranrock. And my unfortunate namesake. Very well, Professor. Tell me where I need to go. I shall reveal the path. Professor Fig must leave you now. join you if I could. I shall await your arrival in the map chamber.
Revelio. Guardian Leviosa. I need to reposition that pillar to climb out of here. Perhaps the archway is the answer. Wingardium Leviosa. Pillar is blocking the path. I'll need to move it. Wingardium Leviosa.
I believe I need to proceed to the left here, but how?
Yeah.
What a relief.
say I'm curious to hear of Isidore's travels. Do you come in? Please, have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. Have you done? I took his pain. This is uncharted magic, Isadora. You can only see what has been sealed in the jar, and we do not know what power that may hold. But the traces of that magic are different from what I've seen before. Thank you. Rebellion. You're back. And in one piece, no less. It is good to see you again. Professor Rookwood told me about what happened at Rookwood Castle. In light of the dire circumstances in which we find ourselves, it is most fortunate that someone so competent is following this path. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep the second artifact safe as you've advised. Good. Are you ready to move on? I'm ready for whatever comes next. In that case, introductions are in order. Allow me to introduce former Hogwarts headmistress, Neve Fitzgerald. How do you do? I must say that I was not entirely surprised to learn that a student had been completing the trials. I've always believed Hogwarts students capable of anything they set their minds to. Thank you, Professor. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. I am certain that you are more than capable of completing my trial. However, I must first, how shall I say, prepare the location of your next trial. We trust your judgment, Professor Fitzgerald. You should know better than anyone how to manage the inconvenience of... well... A vainglorious and exasperating headmaster? Indeed I should. I shall confirm that everything is in order. Of course. Professor... If you learn more about Ranrock and Victor Rookwood's activities in the meantime, please let us know. Very well, Professor. I know, I know. Continue to hone my magic. You do learn quickly. Hopefully you will soon hear from Lodgok as well. And we shall learn how he fared with the helmet you retrieved. Well done today, as always. We shall speak again soon.
Natty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. When you have a moment, please stop by the Room of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to breed beasts. Sometimes it seems all wrong. The exploding charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks I've set forth, speak to me after class. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. <laughs> it was never one for... I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Hello? Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf, Biscuit, was abducted by poachers up north. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr... Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor Biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garnet. Oh, how kind. If only all of Wizardkind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Do keep an eye out for her, and be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnet's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. <laughs> Revelio. Lumos. Hogsmeade, here I come. <laughs> 